Hello, a blessed afternoon to everyone. Welcome to Baptist Bible Church. Welcome to our afternoon service. May I request everyone who is here to please stand as we begin our service by singing a hymn of praise. Let us praise our God that He has bestowed upon us His saving grace as well as His sustaining grace. Truly, the grace of our Lord is marvelous. Let us sing the song, Marvelous Grace of Our Loving Lord. All together on the first verse, ready, sing. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. will pardon and cleanse within grace grace God's grace grace that is greater than all our sin dark is the stain that we cannot hide what can avail that chorus one more time a cappella as we blend our voices grace grace god's grace grace that will pardon and cleanse within grace grace god Amen. Praise God for that wonderful singing. May I call Brother J. Rapacon to open us in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you once again for this wonderful time that you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you, Lord, for gathering us here again for as a family. And thank you, Lord, for the blessings that we receive through your message um, uh, shared by uh, missionary with Mabasa. Continue to bless him, Lord, as he continue preaching your word this afternoon. And also continue to bless those uh, our members fellowshipping with us via Facebook and also those who are here on site. We praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to our choir. Every promise we can make 
that the anchors of our lives are fastened upon the everlasting rock. We have an anchor. All together, on the first verse, ready, sing! Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold, their wings of strife. When the strong tides lift and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or firm remain? We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Will your anchor hold in the straits of fear when the breakers roar and the reef is near? While the surges rage and the wild winds blow, shall the angry waves then your bark or flow? We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. Will your eyes behold through the morning light the city of gold, then harbor bright? Will your anchor safe by the heavenly shore when life's storms are past forevermore? We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. 
fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Well, good afternoon and welcome back to God's uh, house to worship in spirit and truth. And uh, we praise the Lord for this opportunity to congregate on-site and online. Those of you who are online, uh, chat lang kayo so that we can know that you are there, okay? So just a few reminders. Don't forget our regular tithes and offerings. Uh, the tithes that we use uh, is the Lord's. Uh, and then we use it for the furtherance as we uh, operate in, uh, uh, here in church. And also, uh, it says, uh, uh, beyond that is our faith promise giving. Uh, and we, our goal is 70000 per week so that... We can be able to support our missionaries, 100 plus po yan. So please do remember them in prayer, those of them, uh, those who are, we are supporting, both foreign and local. Okay, our missionary for this week is missionary Sarin, uh, Sani Kahuan. So let's continue to pray for him and his family. Okay, and then, it's, it's still a uh, family day. Okay, so we have a wonderful time this morning. Uh, and then also this afternoon, and then for those of you who are not here this morning, you can still have your pictures taken right after the service. So meron po tayong picture taking po right after the service. Okay, so kanina po may mga pangalan, ngayon wala na po. So pagka napunta na po ngayon, first come, first serve. Okay, so right after we are dismissed, you can have your pictures taken. Okay, and also don't forget this uh, every Wednesday, our prayer meeting uh, on site po is 4 o'clock, and then you can watch it. 6 p.m. online, okay? So it's time uh, for us to pray for one another, to strengthen one another. So don't forget uh, to send in your prayer request to the church so that we can include it in our prayer list. And any time that you need uh, prayer, you just call the church. You know, uh, mag-chat lang kayo sa ating uh, chat box and then the church will continue to pray for you. We will pray for you, okay? And then don't forget our uh, uh, ministries that we have in our church. Kahit na pandemic, you can still serve the Lord. Amen? So in different opportunities that the Lord will open, there's always room for you. So you are important in the body of Christ so we can be able to use our talents and our God-given gifts. Okay? So meron po sa children ministry, sa music ministry, and then just uh, sabihin nyo na sa amin kung saan. Meron po kami, you, are have, you have a place to serve the Lord here in our church. Okay? So also don't forget our Bible studies. Uh, uh, for the men, young men, every sec- Thursday to be announced in our uh, in your Facebook chat group, and then uh, the ladies every Friday and every Saturday po. And if you like to open your own Bible study, you can get a copy of the lessons from our church. And we, it's good to, that you can start a Bible study in your home or in your place of work. Okay, so open po yan. So we praise the Lord for those opportunities and also let's continue to pray for their pastor for our pastors that we're praying pastor tanyala and pastor moral okay please do include them in our in your prayers okay so that's all do you have anyone visiting with us for the very first time meron po ba okay every time that the lord's people are together there's always a different feel amen amen let's all stand up and let's welcome one another let us all stand as we welcome each other Again, welcome back to welcome to Baptist Bible Church, our fellow members who are joining us in Facebook and also our visitors. Let us sing the welcome song. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Hallelujah. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome. Let's sing 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Please remain standing as we have our offering. For our offering prayer, may I call Brother Anthony Mensa to lead us. Let 
Let us pray. God, Heavenly Father, we do thank you once again. We thank you for the blessings that you shower it on our lives. Uh, we pray that you help us not to be armstrong, uh, but we will, have, we will have a heart that can give to glorify your name. Father, we pray that uh, we will give cheerfully so that the blessings that you have promised uh, will be ours. And I also, I also pray for the missionaries so that we can also support them and uh, also the things in the church. I pray that you touch our hearts and uh, you'll be, we, we will give cheerfully so that we will be a blessing to your name. In this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated as we have our first special number, which is a video presentation.
Good evening to everyone and happy Family Day and happy Lord's Day as well. Our speaker to today had been a missionary, is not, is not a newcomer to the ministry. And as he had shared his testimony this morning, he told us that he got saved uh, in 1992. And then uh, later on, the, he felt that the Lord has called him to, into the ministry and he entered Bethany Baptist Bible College and he has graduated in 1998. But even before uh, he, God called him to Vietnam, here to Thailand, he has already been serving as a pastor in church and in church and then also he has served as a missionary to Vietnam in the year 2011 and 2014. And after, after that, the Lord has changed his direction. And in the year 2020, uh, he was accepted by the Asia, uh, by Asia Baptist Clearing House. And we are happy that his family is with us today. Uh, may I ask Sister Helen uh, Mabasa to please stand, for those of you who don't know them. And also their children, uh, Erica and also Michaela. Okay, that's her. Uh, that's our family, and we're, happy, we're very happy that they have rendered to us a special number, and they will, we will also be hearing them at the end of the service. And let's now welcome our speaker, uh, none other than Pastor Ricky Mabasa. Amen. Salamat po, Sir Dennis. Gandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Amen. I'm an English pala dito, ano? si Brother Anton. If ever, brother, I will, I'll be speaking in our language straight. And uh, you can't understand it anymore. Just tap the shoulder of uh, that brother in front of you. And uh, ask him, What's, what is he talking about? <laughs> Parang mas gusto kong magtagalog ngayon. Pero hahaluan pa rin natin ng English. Amen? Kung puro nga lang kayo Ilocano, mag ilokano ako eh. Happy to see Brother Joseph there at uh, the back. Ano, yan yung nagpadagdag ng kabako nung pagpunta ko dito. And uh, I asked him uh, about, uh, about Santa Mesa and he told me some things. Instead of me being comforted, lalo yata akong kinabahan. <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming back and to those who are online. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in or joining in. I hope this message will be a blessing to you. Amen. At uh, uh, blessing po ang uh, Santa Mesa uh, to us in many, many ways that uh, you don't seem to know. Being the first church here in uh, Metro Manila, you have made an impact to a lot of churches uh, and a lot of believers nationwide. Uh, just what I have shared a while ago, I heard, I heard about you 30 years ago. And uh, I really wanted to come over and enroll here at the Bible College. Pero iba po yung napuntahan ko. Uh, bumagsak po ako sa Bethany. But uh, I don't regret anything uh, being enrolled there and such a blessing to be trained by uh, common names that uh, we have talked about with Sir Dennis Kanina. But uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, being here, 72 years of God's faithfulness at a church. Amen. And uh, this church has, have proven that it, it is composed of families that are addicted to the ministry. You have given so much time, energy, uh, finances to spread the good news, uh, to support the missionaries local and abroad. Nakapag-praise na rin po ako doon sa mga ilan, sa mga na-send out po galing dito po sa Santa Mesa. Recently, I was in Lian, Batangas, preached in uh, Caloocan uh, around 10 years ago, noong Vietnam tour po namin, and many other churches that they point their origins or their roots sa uh, Baptist Bible Church dito sa Santa Mesa. Amen? So, thank you. 
thank you for the time yung mga ginagamit ng Panginoon to train the, the uh, Bible students that are coming over. Uh, salamat dahil uh, nagkakaroon kami ng mga bagong mga ano ngayon, mga kamanggagawa. Amen? And uh, don't give up until the Lord calls us home, until the Lord uh, sound that trumpet. Amen? And get us over there. Uh, there's, there's no stopping in serving the Lord. Amen? I'd like to invite you to stand with me and open your Bible in the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 13. And we will be reading first verses 17 to 25 as we begin this message. <clears throat> Pakisundan niyo po ako. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go up into the mountain and see the land what it is and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many. And what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not, and be of good courage, and bring forth of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob as men come to Hamath. And they ascended <clears throat> by the south and came unto Hebron, where Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai, the children of Anak, were. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. And they came unto the brook of Eshkol and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. And they buried between two upon his staff. And they brought off the pomegranates and of the figs. And the place was called the brook Eshkol because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. Shall we pray? Dakila namin Diyos na makapangirihan sa lahat. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa pagkakataong ito na binigay mo sa amin na muli nagkasama-sama po kami upang sambahin ang inyong pangalan at pag-aralan, Panginoon, ang inyong salita. Bless this time that we have together, O God. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to continue to work in our midst. Itago niyo po ang inyong lingkod sa inyong kapangirihan, Panginoon, at sa inyong kalawlahatian. At ang inyong pangalan, Panginoon, ang maitaas sa aming pong kalagitnaan, hindi ang sino man sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Jesus. Amen. Amen. Kakaupo na po kayo. Happy Family Sunday po. Amen. I heard that uh, you have been doing this for, uh, for, for many years now, every October. And thank you for giving me the privilege to come over and uh, speak to you and challenge you. Uh, with regards to our family. And, uh, this morning, we talk about uh, my house, my rules. And we look into the different houses or households in the Bible. And uh, praise God for the families that compose the Baptist Bible Church. Amen? Ilan sa inyo ay newlywed. One year, maybe two years. Ilan sa atin ay Kagaya namin, ni Mrs. Ko, we are uh, having our 27th anniversary uh, next March. 27 na po kami. Itong aking panganay ay 26 na. Binibisto ko yung kanya ng mga edad. Ano? <laughs> 26 next year. And then Michaela will be turning 22. Uh, one thing I have proven for the past 27 years of our, of our relationship as husband and wife, and as a family. That the family is a workshop. Amen? The family is a workshop. I know the, uh, the men would agree with me. I work, she shops. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> but it's the other way. 
It's the other way around uh, before. Uh, she was the one working before, and I, I was the one doing the shopping. Noong uh, nagtatrabaho pa siya. Ano? Pero ngayon, uh, ngayon, we work together. Amen? And we let God do the shopping for us. Amen? <laughs> Kakaiba na. Pero mas natawa kayo dun sa I work, she shops. Ano? Ang lakas ng amen ng mga lalaki. Baka may away mamaya nito. <laughs> well, this afternoon, I would like to preach to you a message entitled uh, we, that we can get from those verses that we have read a while ago. Entitled, Look for the Grapes. Amen? Look for the Grapes. Chapter 1 of Joshua, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. And Joshua reigned or reigned or took the leadership of these uh, pilgrims. Itong mga kalalabas lamang sa, sa promised land. We all know the history or the story from the book of Exodus, how they went out of Egypt when the Lord uh, heard the cry of the Israelites. Papaano sila nahihirapan doon for, uh, for these past few years na nandun sila after leaving there for 400 years, a new Pharaoh came in and uh, gave them hard time. And they cried unto the Lord, and uh, the Lord heard their cry. And, the God, and God called a man called, uh, named Moses. Amen? And uh, led them uh, out of Egypt. At first, Pharaoh's heart was hardened. He would not let the, the people, because mawawalan sila ng mga trabahador eh. No? And then the, the, the ten plagues came in. No? Uh, yung mga plagues. And then the final plague, which is the death of the, of the firstborn, uh, happened to them. That was the time that uh, Pharaoh uh, decided to let go at first, to let go these uh, Israelites and uh, go back to their, uh, to their, to their land. No? So when they were there, uh, at the end, no? in front of them, was the Red Sea, besides them, ay, uh, ang, uh, yung mga bulubundukin, and behind them is the army of, of Pharaoh chasing, uh, chasing after them, and then nowhere to go. But the Lord made a miracle, amen? And uh, He divided the, the Red Sea through, the, uh, through Moses when He stroke the, the water with, with that rod, hati, and then they passed through the uh, the Red Sea on dry ground. Oh, grabe yung mga, yung mga miracle na, na kanyang mga nasaksihan. And uh, when they were there, no, uh, doon, sa, doon sa Red Sea, uh, doon sa kabilang panig, doon sa uh, disyerto, they forgot about the, they forgot about the, the miracles. How the Lord had spared them from the pandemic that happened. I hope and pray that after this, after this, when everything will be back, hopefully, uh, into normal, we all can remember and look back how the Lord has helped us, amen? How the Lord has led us to pass through this uh, pandemic on dry ground. Amen? So, Anjuna <clears throat> Sila, they were about to enter the promised land and it is supposed to be 40 days only, and they will, they will be able to enter that land. But at first, the Lord gave a commandment, gave an order to Joshua, and He said, I want you to send out spies. You know, spies to look out to that land. So the Lord, through Moses, commanded that, and in this chapter, Moses have chosen one from each tribe. Mula dun sa mga uh, tribo labindalawang tribo ng mga uh, ng mga Israelita, no? In no particular order, he called uh, he called from the family of God, Reuben, uh, Asher, Naphtali, Dan, uh, Judah, Ephraim, and Manasseh, in, with, uh, through Joseph, and then Benjamin, Levi, Issachar, and Zebulun. Awak sila ng mga ano? And they sent out uh, they, he sent them out to spy out the land. And along the story that we have read a while ago, we can see there that there was a particular order. Yes, Moses told them that, go there, tignan nyo kung anong sitwasyon. Mataba ba yung lupa o payat ba? 
Uh, mataas ba yung kanilang mga ano, matitibay ba yung mga muog na kanilang mga itinayo doon? What, what is the situation of the land? But something catch my, my attention when, when he said, now is the, first, the time of the first ripes of grapes. And they went to the brook of Eshkol and cut down a, a cluster of grapes there. Kanina habang ano, pin- Nire-recall ko yung kwento nito. Parang parang pakiramdam ko sinasabihan ni ni Moses yung yung labindalawang uh, espiya na pinadala niya while they were walking away from the camp towards the promised land. Siguro siya nasabi niya, "Don't forget to look for the grapes. Bring home a sample of the grapes." That will be our message today. Look for the grapes. Amen. We will use that, uh, that word or the name of that fruit, grapes. Dapat yung pomegranate, kaya lang baka mahaba yung ano natin. <laughs> baka mahaba yung magiging lesson natin ngayong hapon kung isa-ihisay natin yung pomegranate. Ano? Let's just use the word grapes. And in this pandemic, in this situation, God wants every family to be able to look for these things. Because you are God's spy. You are God's messenger in this situation, in this time of the year, in this time of this generation, mga kapatid, so that when, when another generation would come, there would be someone who would stand up amongst their families to their grandchildren. At kayong magsasabi na, kasabihin ninyo, I have seen the land, I have seen the grapes, and here are they. Kaya bawat pamilya sa ating pong sitwasyon ngayon, whatever situation you are here today, I ask you and uh, plead with you na ito yung mga hanapin natin sa mga sitwasyon na ito. Madaling, madaling tignan ang hirap ng mundo ngayon. Amen? So, pagka tayo ay inalipin ng, ng, uh, ng pangyayari sa mundong ito, mga kapatid, we will stop. So, to, to challenge us from the Word of God, let us study this uh, six letters of this uh, fruit from the text that we have read kung ano po yung mga nais ng Panginoon na tignan natin throughout the situation that we are in right now together with our family. Amen? Letter G. Number one. Of course, He wants us to look up to Him. Look to God. Amen? Look to God. Verses, chapter 13, verses 1 to 3. Sabi ng Bible yan, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every man a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. Fathers, mothers, mga anak, I would like you to know na sa sitwasyon ngayon, God has brought you together to one big church family. And this is the Baptist Bible Church. Amen? We did not choose our family, but God brought you to that family of your own in that blood relationship that you have. Out of that family, God saved you. By the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And we became a part of the church of the Lord. And God has placed you here because He wanted you to look for the grapes. And God has placed you here, mga kapatid, because He wanted you to go back to your families, to go back to your children, to go back to your parents, to go back to your loved ones, mga kapatid, telling them, hey, I have seen God. Amen? Amen? What happened to what happened to the Israelites when 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 they came back itong labindalawang spy na to instead of seeing God when they when they came to that promised land instead of seeing the miracles what God has done instead of remembering how the Lord has led them victoriously to be able to go out of uh, to go out of the of the land of Egypt what they saw in that promised land was the, the giants. 
and not God. Sabi nung sampung ispay, we came to the land and we saw these giants. Amen? We saw Shishai. We, show, we saw Talmai. This, the children of Anak there. They are very big. Malalaki yan. Pero we should remind ourselves with the song of the children, My God is so big. Amen? So strong and so mighty, there is nothing my God cannot do. Kino bang hindi apektado sa atin? Our church, the Shield of Faith Bible Baptist Tabernacle, no, just had their, uh, their, their on-site just this month, 30%. Amen? 30% of, uh, of the, of the uh, capacity of the building. And uh, looking from, uh, looking from, uh, from a distance, I observed the, the, the brethren there. Some are being discouraged. Some are still are being yeah, motivated to, to go on and uh, keep serving the Lord. Amen? Maybe today you're so discouraged as a father, as a mother, that you don't want to continue anymore. But the Lord is reminding us here, mga kapatid, hey, don't look at those giants. Look to God who has brought us together. Look to God who is all-powerful. Look to God who is sovereign. Look to God who knows everything. Amen? Look to God who knows you by name. Look to God that can do everything. I don't know how, how you, how, 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 kung paano nyo, gaano nyo kakilala ang ating, ang ating Panginoong Diyos. But my Bible, the same Bible that you are holding, mga kapatid, is telling us that we have a God that is alive. Amen? We have a God that is loving. We have a God that knows what is happening. We have a God that, that is just a prayer away. Anong mga Kristiyano, and we are guilty of emphasizing the, the big problems, the giants. I stopped watching negative news from, from the television. Kasi ang pinapakita lang nitong mga, ano yun to, yung, yung mga giants, you know, yung mga parang mga insurmountable problem or giants that, uh, that, that people are facing. Kaya tayo ho na mga anak ng Diyos, mga kapatid, we should not stop going around and telling these people, hey, there is hope. Amen? Yun bang sasabihin nila, what is happening with these Baptist people? Ang dami nang nangyayaring problema, but there is still a smile in their faces. Alam niyo kung ano yung, ano, yung, ano yung meron tayo na wala sila mga kapatid? We have God. Amen? But we don't need to settle for that that we have God and, don't, and they don't have God. May our families be a testimony that there is a living God and then we can be able to share them that from this family, kasabihin nila, buhay ang Diyos ng mga taong yan. Amen? Letter R, verses 23 and 24. And they came unto the brook of Eshkol and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. And they bear it two upon a staff. And they brought off the pomegranates and of the figs. And the place was called the brook of Eshkol because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from thence. Sabi ni Moses sa kanila, look for the grapes. Don't forget to take home some of the grapes with you. Because I believe Moses have something in mind. I want something to show. I want to have something to show to the people of God that what God has promised, what God has given, what God has said in His Word, that that land will be a, a fruitful land. That land will be a land that flows with milk and honey will be true. Letter R, look at your resources given by God. Amen? Moses knew 
Alam niya, through, sa pamamagitan ng, ng mga saling lahi, he has never been to the promised land. Remember how, how he was born? He was born when, when uh, that Pharaoh is, is so mad with the, with the uh, Israelites and he wanted to kill all of those newly born babes. And he was born and they, they put him, his mother, they put him in a basket at pinaanod nila sa, sa tubig at kinuha siya nung, uh, nung anak. Kaya nga tinawag siyang Moses out of the water. Amen? Hindi nga narating ang promised land. Hindi niya nakita. Mahari mga kapatid, mga tatay, hindi na makita nung mga anak natin itong sitwasyon na ito. Pero tayo yung nakakita. Amen? At tayo yung magkukwento sa kanila anak. Alam mo, nung 2020, alam mo, nung 2021, ito yung nangyari. Tumingin kami sa Diyos. At sa halip na tignan namin yung mga kakulangan namin, tinignan namin kung ano yung mga binigay ng Diyos sa amin. Noong mga, noong mga unang buwan ng pandemic, I cannot go out. First months supposed to be of our deputation. That was in March and April. I cannot go out. I have resigned from the church. I don't have a church to pastor anymore. I was there uh, sitting in front of the laptop watching. Of course, bilang tatay, isipin mo paano ko mapapakain yung anak ko, anong kakainin namin, ganyan. So instead of complaining to God, Lord, I cannot go out. Lord, ito yung mga kakulangan namin. I look around. Alam mo, doon sa tapat ng bahay namin, meron doon isang puno ng malunggay. Buti niya lang, ilukano ako. No? Na yung malunggay na yan, halos lahat nung nakatira doon sa paligid namin, kumukuha doon. Yun yung binigay ng Panginoon, isa, na pinagkukuha na namin ng ulam. Lahat na lang ng... ng ng luto ng malunggay na subukan na namin. No? Sardinas ala malunggay. <laughs> luto ka ng manok, lagyan mo ng malunggay. No? Dumating na kami sa point na, na dahil sobrang ano na, yung kumakalat na daw yung, yung COVID, kuha kami ng malunggay, juicer namin yung malunggay. Aba, ang dami kong ininom na, 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 na juice ng malunggay, in-straight kong ganyan, yun pala. Ang init pala niyan, maya-maya, parang hindi ako makahinga. But instead of looking around for the things that the Lord has not given us, <clears throat> I look around and uh, find those things prepared for us. Amen? Kaya nga sa sitwasyon na to, it's not time, it's not the time to, to, to compare. Bakit sila may ganito, kami wala. Diba? Bakit yung kanilang pamilya ganito? Kami hindi. No, God has designed every family. Uh, ano mga kapatid? Uh, perfectly. Uniquely. Amen? Kaya every family should look at, your, at, your, at each of you and, and say, ano ba yung mga binigay ng Panginoon? Okay, ito yung pagyamanin natin. Ito yung, ito yung gagamitin, gagamitin natin para maglingkod sa Panginoon. Look for the grapes. Look at what God has given you. Has God given you a short amount of, of income? That's the resources that God has given you. Pagyamanin mo yan at matutunan mo magtiwala sa Panginoon. Amen? God has given you, each of us, things that we can enjoy and show to the people that this is the proof that my God is alive. Ayun na, I have shared to you yung mga gamit namin sa bahay galing lang sa isang doktor. No? Galing lang sa obigayni. No? Yung obigayni kuya ganito, obigayni ganyan. What, what, what was my point a while ago is this mga kapatid? Tingnan nyo yung tahanan nyo ngayon. Can you point some the things there in your home sasabihin mo Galing sa Diyos yan. Ito, galing sa Diyos yan. Ito, alam ko, galing sa Diyos to. Why did the Lord bless you? Because you have become faithful doon sa pinagkatiwala ng Diyos sa iyo na resources. Kaya nga meron kang maitutulong ngayon. May kotse ako, galing sa Diyos yan. May bahay kami, galing sa Diyos yan. <clears throat> Amen? I don't deserve to have a wife like her. 
but God gave her to me. Amen. And God gave then God gave us uh, children through these uh, two ladies here. No? Kaya, as a father, ang alam niyo ho, ang tinignan ko mga kapatid, the spiritual resources that God has given me. I may be lacking some, some material resources if I compare what I have with other people, but, but, but my point here is this, mga kapatid, hindi naman kami pinabayaan ng Diyos. Amen? For the past 30 years of serving the Lord, the first 18 years of my life as a full-time worker of the church, and for the past 12 years of pastoring and being a missionary, mga kapatid, I have never seen God failed me. He has been faithful in providing for our needs. I don't beg from other people, but the Lord uses people and things to prove to us that His resources are not limited. Amen? Eh, sabi, ni, sabi ni Moses doon sa mga, doon sa mga spy, huwag niyong kakalimutan mag-uwi ng grapes and they bear it to upon a staff. I, ima, I am imagining how big are, are, were those grapes. Yung bawat butil niya. And then I searched the internet, nakakita ako ng kanilang mga pina, ng kanilang mga bunga, ng mga ubas doon, ang hahaba mula dyan sa kisame hanggang dito sa baba. Ganong karami yung isang, yung isang cluster. Ganito pala yun. Ganito pala yung kanilang, yung kanilang mga binuhat. Impossible in, in the imagination of men. But with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen? Number three, letter A. Verse 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. Kunin muna natin yung sinabi dyan ni Caleb, Let us go up at once. Letter A. Ito na, nag-report na sila. Dala-dala nitong, uh, itong dalawa yung uh, bunga ng ubas. And then they called the two million Israelites. Hear ye, hear ye, gather together, the, the spies have come home. Have you seen a, a number of people gathered like that? Two million people. Parang hirap ni siguro ng ano, kung walang sound system, ano. Pero problema na ng Panginoon yun, no? They came. And then there's the spies presented themselves. Amen? And, and Joshua and Caleb began testifying, excited, with all a smile. Ang ganda! Ang ganda ng lugar. Amen? Ngayon, napupuno tayo ngayon ng, ng, uh, sa paligid natin. From the media, down to the people in the church, down to the, uh, to the family members. What we can see are negative things. What we can see or what we see are the things that are not done. Things that were neglected. But for Joshua and Caleb, Ang nakita nila, the beauty of the place. Ang ganda ng lugar. We have come to the place that God has promised us and this is the fruit of it. These are the graves. Sample pa lang yan. You ought to see it, my brethren. Ganun yung kanilang excitement. Sabi nung, uh, sabi nung sampo. Ang lalaki ng mga higante doon. Higante na, malaki pa. Ano? <laughs> Ang mga tao dun. We were just like grasshoppers in their sight. We cannot overcome them. Wala mahina lang tayo. What are we? Two million people in com- comparing to their, to their height. Naganap ng alibay yung, ano, yung, sampung, yung sampung spice. But I like the spirit of Caleb. Sabi niya, let us go up at once and possess it. Caleb did not see the giants, 
Caleb did not see the restriction, but instead, he saw God and he saw the resources. That's why when he heard about the alibis of these 10 uh, comrades that they had, he looked, he turned on to the people and what he saw are his allies. Letter A, yung kanyang mga kakampi para harapin ang pagsubok na ito. Amen? Ang bawat pamilya, challenge talaga ngayon eh. We can all have excuses. We can all have reasons to say, Pastor, dito na lang muna kami sa bahay. Ama, natatakot kami. No? Wala kami nga, uh, kumbaga, mahirap. Dito sa amin, walang, walang masakyan. Ganun naman talaga eh. Pagka, pagka ayaw, marami talagang dahilan. Tama ho. No? Pero pagka gusto, marami talagang paraan yan. And then, and then, ang nakikita na, ang namamagnify ang, ang, yung mga dahilan. I wanted, at, at first, I wanted to, uh, to, to, to say some alibis as well. Hindi na kami pupunta sa field kasi uh, mahirap na. No, mahirap. At uh, lalo ngayon, hindi kami maka-deputize, maka, maka hindi kami maka-ikot as, uh, as missionaries. Na-focus ako dito sa Luzon para mag-deputize for the past almost two years of, of our life. But instead of emphasizing the alibis, tingnan ko yung mga kakampi ko. Fathers, don't give up. When all, when all else are negative about life, look around and you can see the best ally, mga kakampi. Amen? The Bible says, Heal by, perceive with the love of God, because He laid down His life for us. Amen? These are all loving people of the Lord. And then, because God has gathered us, and sabi ng Panginoon, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Amen? Kaya, what, what we need to do is this, mga kapatid. Tignan ninyo kung sino yung mga sugatan. Go there and be the best ally that you can, the best ally that they can possibly have. A lot of soldiers... I mean, soldiers, fathers, mothers, family members are, are wounded, mga kapatid, and they would like to stop. Reasons or alibis are reasonable. But they need to hear from one of you, mga kapatid, that, hey, the battle is not over. Let us go up at once and possess it. Noong nagbumalik ako ng Pilipinas noong 2014, and I pastored our church, which is now the Shield of Faith Bible Baptist Tabernacle. Mix. I have mixed uh, acceptance or uh, yung pagtanggap sa amin, pag ano namin ng mga tao. But at first, during those years, there were people who got mad at me because they did not understand the reason why I left the field. And some has misjudged me for taking over, the, taking over the ministry from the field. But you know what? I look for the best possible allies that I can associate myself with. I look for pastors that can give me good advice. I look for faithful men that could guide me, that can guide me towards fulfilling the, the, the mission. I look for faithful fathers that I can look up to and emulate what they, have, what they have done to their families, mga kapatid. These are the best allies. And where can we find this kind of people? In the church. Kaya nga ho dapat ang best friend natin, taga-church. Eh. Amen? Ang ating best friend ay taga-church. We are member of one big family church. Don't end up fighting each other. You are a member of your family. What hurts me, you know, yung experience ko, nagkaroon ako ng, mga as ng association sa isang pamilya na ang kanilang pinagtatalunan ay lupa, related by blood. And they ended up uh, filing cases against each other over the court. Sabi ko, wow. Talagang ang pinakamatimbang pa rin yung relasyon ng mga magkakapatid sa Panginoon. 
Amen? Letter P, number four. Let's go to 26 and 27. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them. And unto all the congregation showed them uh, and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Alam mo, nung una ko narinig yan, nung lumalaki kami sa, sa Sunday school, sabi nung teacher namin, no? the Israel is a land that flows with milk and honey. No, what comes into my mind, alam niyo kung ano, ah, yung mga grabe, siguro yung mga waterfalls doon, mga honey, yung mga dumadaloy, tapos yung mga ilog doon, gatas. Ang sarap naman siguro dyan sa lugar na yan. Tatabo ka na lang ng gatas, iinumin mo na lang. <laughs> Sasahurin mo lang yung mga waterfalls, at eto na yung, uh, eto na yung, yung ano, ganun ako kaano na, nung, nung bata kami. Ano? Nalala ko pa yung teacher namin noon na nagtuturo sa amin sa mga Saturday school noon. Ituturo sa amin yung, yung kanta na uh, may sampung may sakit. Okay children, let's study this song. May sampung may sakit, pinagaling ni Jesus ang siya may umalis, ang isa ay bumalik. No? Eh yung teacher ko meron siyang ganyan sa ano, dagdag na daliri. Sabi ko sa kanya, ma'am, hindi naman sampu yan eh, 12 yan eh. <laughs> Ano? Buti niya lang, pinagtsagaan kami nung mga, nung mga teacher namin, inyalagaan kami. Amen? <coughs> Huwag niyo kaawayan yung mga teacher. Ano? Pero salamat sa mga teachers na nag-aalaga ng mga bata. Amen? Looking back, these are the people, these are the people that God has used to, 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 to place me or bring me, bring me where I am today. Amen? That, that old man that came to our place many, many years ago and began reaching out, mga kapatid, doon sa lugar namin, praise God, kahit hindi kami kakilala, they came to us. Kaya sabi ko, yung mga mahal namin sa buhay, tinalikuran kami. Yung mga may-ari ng lupa na tinitirahan namin, pinalalayas kami. Pero salamat sa mga taong ito na kahit hindi kami kaano-ano, nakampi, nakampi namin sila. Hindi ba yan ang ministry ng church? Amen? Like what I have said this morning, ang dami ho dyan, mga kapatid, mga itinataboy na ng kanilang, mga, ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, wala ng pag-asa, walang mauwian, mga ganyan. Let's give them hope. Amen? Tell them, show them that we can be the best ally that they can have. Begin with your family. You don't know how discouraged your, your father is or your mother is or your child is when, when they come home from, from, uh, from, from their job or from their school. Be the best ally. Make every family, mga kapatid, uh, yung bang excited umuwi yung mga anak natin. I remember, the, I remember those days noong kasama pa namin yung, uh, yung tatay ko. No? I almost do not want to go home. But when my mother was able, was able to come to know the Lord, gusto gusto ko umuwi. Amen? And then, pinaka-excited akong araw noon, linggo. Kasi makakapag-church na naman kami. Makakapakinig na naman ako ng mga Bible stories. Makakapakinig na naman ako ng preaching. Makakakanta na naman ako ng mga, ng mga Bible songs. I can be with God's people again. I can, we, I can be with my friends again. I can be with my allies once again. Amen? Kaya yung church gathering, dito mo pinalalakas yung sarili mo. Dito mo ini-encourage. Kaya as much as possible, mga kapatid, come to church because your presence Your smile, even if we are wearing those face masks, can give an encouragement to the, to the discouraged brother or sister that we have, mga kapatid, looking for someone that could tap their shoulder and fist bump. 
Hindi man tayo nakakapag-shake hand ngayon. Pero alam mo, yung gustong-gusto ko yan, no? yung smile, tapos shake hand. Kasi pag inaabot sa akin yung kamay, pakiramdam ko talaga, kakampi ko yung taong yan eh. Amen? Number five, verse 30. Chapter 13. Let's go back here what Caleb said. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. Moses told them, Look for the grapes. The two spies saw God. The ten, they saw the giants. The two, they saw the resources. But the ten, they saw the restrictions. The two, they saw their allies. But the ten, they saw their alibis. Amen? The two, letter P, Joshua and Caleb saw the promises of God. But the ten, they saw the problems. Amen? Noong mga panahon, alam niyo, noong mga panahon na parang wala nang pag-asa, salamat nakilala ko ang Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng Bible. Amen? Salamat I had the chance to, to sit down and listen to the preaching of different man of God and hear what God has for me. Kaya dito po sa dito po sa ano dito po sa nangyayari ngayon mga kapatid. Alam mo gusto gusto nang makita na gusto ng Panginoon na makita natin mga kapatid. I-emphasize ng bawat tatay, i-emphasize ng bawat nanay. Ano ba yung pangako ng Panginoon? Have you forgotten what the Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you? Have you forgotten what the Lord said, I will be I will be with you always even unto the end of the world? Have you forgotten what the Bible says? But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Have you forgotten those promises, mga kapatid? That we have engulfed or, or covered ourselves with, with fear. And what we emphasize now are the problems na, na, na pakiramdam natin, ino-overcome na tayo. I thank God I still have the Bible. Amen? Nakakaisip din ba ako minsan na nakakalimutan ko yung mga, yung mga pangako ng Panginoon? Opo. Tao po tayo eh. Amen? Pero yung mga pagkakataon na nasisimulan na nating makalimutan yung mga pangako ng Diyos at ang nakikita natin ay mga problema, mga kapatid, go back to the Bible, go back to church, go back to listening to the, to the preaching of the Word of God and heal once again what are the promises of God has for each family. Amen? Kung isa-isayin natin yung mga pangako ng Panginoon sa bawat pamilya, individually, sa bawat isa sa atin, mga kapatid, we will, we will not have enough time until tomorrow morning. But if you have been, if you have been in the church for so long time, I guess, marami na po tayong alam na salita ng Diyos at mga pangako ng Diyos. If you are new in the church, I'd like to encourage you, read the Bible and, and, and search for the promises of God. And every time you, uh, you, you, you encounter trouble, claim the promises of God. Amen? This is the proof of it. The Lord has promised the land to be, to be a land that flows with milk and honey. And this is the proof of it. Totoo ang pangako ng Diyos, mga kapatid. 30 years na home ako sa pananampalataya. Gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, mga kapatid, totoo ang pangako ng Diyos. Amen? 72 years into God's faithfulness, thank you, Baptist Bible Church, for proving that the promises of God are true. Kaya nga sabi ni, sabi ni Joshua and Caleb doon sa, doon sa letter E, particularly kay, kay Caleb, sabi niya ganyan, let us go up at once and possess it for we are able to overcome it. What is that letter E? Engage the battle. 
Amen? They were not trained to fight an army. They were trained to be slaves, make bricks, build houses for the Egyptians. Joshua and Caleb knew that. But what they saw is God. Whom they saw is God. They did not see the restriction. What they saw are the resources. They did not see the alibis. What they saw are the allies, mga kapatid. They did not see the problems. What they saw are the promises of God. And instead of escaping the battle, sabi nila, tara, gawin natin yan. Amen? Tara, let's go. Let's go up at once and possess it. Have you laid down your armor? Have you laid down your sword? Uh, sabi mo, ayoko na, tama na, pagod na ako. I have been doing this for a couple of years already. I'm done. At hinahayaan ko naman na yung mga bata, yung mga sumusunod, ang harap. Huwag po. We're looking at you. They are looking at us. Amen? So that one day when we, when we stand before our family, when we stand before, before the church, mga kapatid, we can say that, hey, I would like to tell you if the Lord will tell you about this Bible church. Anong taon na ngayon? 2021? Today is 2050. Sabi ah, ano? Ang tagal na nun, pero, pero sana dumating na ang Panginoon. Pero let's just try to imagine. Today is 2050. I would like to tell you we have lived and won, when went through that pandemic in 2020 and 2021. We did not back down. We did not surrender. We fought the battle. We faced the enemy. That's why you are here today. Ah, ganun sana, ganun sana ang patutuo. Amen? Ang iiwanan natin at ang ating sasabihin doon sa ating mga, doon sa ating mga susunod na henerasyon. Amen? Ano, ipapakita ko pa lang ng mga pilat ng aking buhay sa mga anak ko, yung mga pilat ng kakulitan ko nung araw. <laughs> ano, ano, alam mo anak, itong, itong, uh, itong ano na to, itong sugat ko sa paa, gagawan niya nung ako yung nag-iitak ng ano, naitak ko yung paa ko. Ano, ito, ano, itong sugat ko sa daliri na ito, nangyari yan nung naggagawa ko ng mga cabinet sa church, nung itinulak ko yung kahoy doon sa circular saw, naputol yung, nahati yung daliri ko na yan. Ito pa, mayroon akong hati dito. Yun pa lang yung mga naipapakita kong pilat sa mga anak ko. I have not shown them scar, scar mga kapatid, na na, 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 na nakuha ko sa pag, pagkikipagbaka spiritually. But I want to I want to lay down my armor that day when the Lord will call me home at ang makikita maalala ng mga anak ko yung tatay ko lumaban siya. Yung nanay ko hindi siya nag-give up. Amen. Kaya ngayon pa lamang harapin na natin yung kalaban natin. Letter S, the final point that I have to do, uh, for you today. Spread the good news. Spread the good news. And that's sin. Sabi ano, that 2 million, maybe of course, siyempre may fear sila at uh, yung nagsasalita, sampu eh. Ten against two. Sabi nung, sabi nung ten, hindi natin kaya. Ang lalaki nila. Ang sabi nung dalawa, hindi kaya natin yan. Let us go up at once and possess it. Kanino nakinig yung two million? They heeded to the ten. They listened to the ten. As I close this message, I don't know you personally, but let me tell you, our children are listening at us. Amen? Pinapakinggan po tayo ng mga anak natin, mga tatay, mga nanay. 
kung ang mamumutawi sa mga bibig natin ay mga negative things. And nila maririnig at makikita ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Pag wala na tayo, what kind of children we will be living? What kind of faith we will be passing to the next generation? Kaya ho ngayon pa lang, let's be Joshua and Caleb even if we are minority. Ngayon pa lamang, let's be, let, let's be just like these two mga kapatid. Tignan mo kung ano yung, tignan mo kung, kung ano yung ginawa ng Diyos. Tignan mo kung papaano ka pinagpala ng Panginoon. Tignan mo kung papaano ka sinuplay ng Panginoon. Tignan mo kung papaano ka iningatan ng Panginoon. Tignan mo kung papaano ka pinagtiwalaan ng Panginoon mga kapatid. Yun yung ipakalat natin. Amen? Naging norm na ngayon ang pinapakalat against anyone, against the pastor, against the father, against against the friend, against the politician. Naging norm na ngayon ang pinapakalat ano, negative things. Tama ho? Kaya ano nangyayari sa mga tao, sa atin mga Pilipino, we are developing hatred. Kasi ang naririnig nga naman natin again, tungkol sa pastor, negative. Ang naririnig natin tungkol sa leader, negative. Talagang magagalit tayo. Kaya nga, let's, let's, let's be different, mga kapatid, na ang ating sabihin, ang ating ipaggalat, ang ating ipagsabi, ay yung mabubuting balita. Amen? Go back to, with me doon sa chapter 13. Kanina, sabi dyan ni Moses, look for the grapes. And in verse 4 of chapter 13, Ito po yung mga pangalan noong mga uh, noong mga spy na pinadala. Gumawa ako ng sarili kong version. Nakikita mo dyan, nandyan sa verses 4 hanggang dyan sa verse uh, uh, verse 16 yung mga pangalan. Ito po yung mga pangalan ng mga spy. from the tribe of Valenzuela Momon the son of Ramon from the tribe of De La Cruz Rosh and Red the children of Ruben from the tribe of Rivera Sheila and Apple the daughters of Ida from the tribe of Du Enzo, the son of Gilbert, from the tribe of Lyron, Joy, the sister of May, from the tribe of Gososo, Mark, the brother of Francis, from the tribe of Aris, Kim, the daughter of Roberto, from the tribe of Medidas, Brian, the son of Beth, from the tribe of Noveda, Angelbert, from the tribe of Tran, Min Tran, from the tribe of Socias, and MTV. Basta MTV, siguro mahaba ito. Maganda talaga. <laughs> From the tribe of Kalamasa. Ano? Sam, the daughter of Grace. Maybe your, your name were not listed with what I have requested this morning. But I want you to take this personally. Out of your family. God has called you to be a part of the church. Out of your family, God wants you to be a good spy for your children. Na pagharap mo sa mga anak mo, anak, buhay ang Diyos natin. Anak, galing sa Diyos to. Anak, hindi tayo mag-give up. Lalaban tayo. 
Anak, hindi tayo titigil. Tuloy tayo, anak. Anak, mahirap ang buhay, pero mabuti ang Diyos. Yun ang nais na pakinggan ng mga anak natin. At pag nakita nila at tumibay ang ating pamilya, mga kapatid, when we stand before our loved ones. Amen? Praise God because our loved ones will begin to magnify the God that we are serving. Amen? And few years from now, we might not be uh, here anymore if the Lord will tarry, we will be there, up there in heaven uh, already, mga kapatid, and the people that will be speaking, that, that, that will be left behind here, will, that, that are continuing our faith, sabihin niya na, salamat. Salamat dun sa mga nauna. Salamat dun sa mga tatay natin noon until today, Baptist Bible Church is standing Salamat doon sa bawat mga pamilya. Until today, our family is serving. Until today, we believe in the living God and serve the living God. Kaya habang nandito po tayo, mga kapatid, habang nabubuhay po tayo, mga spy, spies of each family, look for the grapes. Say, so all stand and let's pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us to come together, O oh God, and to learn from the story in the lives of the Israelites. We O oh God, that majority of those two million people were not able to enter the promised land. But we praise you that we can also see that, were, that there were those who were able to enter that promised land. Because when the time comes that the two good spies took the leadership, they press on towards that promised land. Oh God, today that you, might, you may find the Joshua and Caleb in us. Mga tatay, mga nanay, Panginoon, mga anak in this family Sunday of Baptist Bible Church. Magkaroon kami, Panginoon, ng Espiritu kagaya po ni Joshua at saka ni Caleb. And even if the majority saw the difficulties, the hardship, the giants, the problems, ang nakita nila ay ikaw. Bless each family represented today, O God fathers and mothers and children, mothers and their children and their children, brothers and sisters or siblings, maybe, O oh God, present here today, raise up, O oh God, from them, from each family, a Joshua and a Caleb. Kausapin niyo kami, Panginoon, sa oras na ito, sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Habang tayo po yung nakayoko at nakapikit, While the piano is playing softly, I ask you to talk to God. Dito po sa pagdiriwang natin ngayon ng Family Sunday, make a personal prayer to God. Lord, make me a Joshua. Make me a Caleb. That when I stand before my family, before my children, before my parents, before my loved ones, before my relatives, before the people that you're going to entrust me, I will spread the good news. I will talk about you. I will, I will tell the story how you have provided for me. I will tell the story how I, we have fought together the battle with the best allies, with my family, with the church family that you have given me. I will engage the battle, O God. I will not back down. I will claim your promises. Lord, make me a Joshua. Make me a Caleb. I want to go back to my family as a good spy. Na ang nakita nila, Panginoon, sa akin, ay ikaw. Can you make that prayer to that today, mga kapatid? While the piano plays softly, and Sir Dennis will come and close us in the word of prayer. Shall we pray?
Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the challenges that we have received today. I pray, God, that our family would, be not, would not be like those who were faithless, but those who are faithful, believing in your promises. And help us, O oh Lord, that we would always look up to you as the source of everything and our only, the only one in whom we can lean on. And O oh Lord, I pray that it's family today that is represented today, that they would um, make sure, Lord, that they would see to it, Lord, that its member had come to your saving knowledge, that they would pray for the salvation of their children. And this, O oh Lord, we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So you may please be seated as we listen to a special number. Are you blessed and challenged by the message yesterday? Amen. So, uh, with that, we would like to express our appreciation to the Mabasa family and that you came here as a family on our family Sunday. So, I would like to ask the whole family to please come to the platform and it would be fitting for us as a church to show our appreciation for them. Oh, yeah, let's give them a big hand.
us and a challenge, especially for our foreign industry partners in Asia. We would like, uh, Pastor, because you have challenged us with your preaching, uh, we would like to appreciate our appreciation as a church. So we would like to give this to you. And I hope we as a church would pray for this family as they, uh, as they have this new field, as they are preparing for their ministry there in Thailand. Would you promise that to pray for them? Yeah. Pastor, would you like to say something? Okay, now. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for coming over. Thank you for the special number as well. At this moment, shall we all stand up? And this time, I would like to ask Brother Alec to dismiss us in prayer. Let's come before the presence of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Our Father in heaven, Lord, you are the God of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob. And Father, we come to you by the blood of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. God, thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Sa buhay po namin. Father in heaven, may you bless uh, missionary Ricky Mabaza and his family, Lord God. May you strengthen them, Lord God. And I pray for all of us, the members of this church, Father in heaven, to step up and to be like Christ, Lord, and to be like Caleb, Lord, and like Joshua, Father in heaven. And may you continue to bless us, our church, and Pastor Boyd, and may we be a blessing, O God, in this world. Thank you, God. We glorify you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.